you're supposed you're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty, but the way the system is, is you're guilty until proven innocent. Little did we know, Khalif Browder was already dying inside the day we met him. At the easy age of 22, he'd already learned more about America's criminal justice system and endured more than any soul should ever have to. At the age of 16, he was arrested and sent here for allegedly stealing a backpack. It was like hell on earth. Khalif's mother, Benita Browder, needed to post bail of $3,000, money she said she just didn't have. What was your reaction when you heard that your 16-year-old boy was being sent to Rikers Island? My heart dropped. You know, I had heard so many horror stories about Rikers, and all I could picture was him getting hurt in there. Court records show Khalif had attempted suicide at least six times, spent 1,110 days behind bars, more than 800 of those in solitary confinement. His court date postponed more than 30 times. He endured all this having never been given a trial, never convicted of a crime. Finally, in June of 2013, all charges against Khalif were dismissed. But his experience exposed a troubled criminal justice system and the brutality of life behind bars. I think at some point, almost a reckless disregard by the prosecutors in this case. They didn't care, Byron. They saw his file. They saw that he was in jail. And he'd probably take a plea. And they were hoping he'd take a plea. They just told me that if I plead guilty, I would release from jail that same day. But I didn't do it. You're not going to make me say I did something just so I could go home. It is an outrageous case of justice derailed. News of the teen lost in the city's criminal justice system made headlines. How are you? Excited about this show or a little nerve-wracking? A little nerve-wracking. Khalif told his story to Rosie O'Donnell on The View, Huffington Post, and other programs. When we first met him November of last year, he was doing better, he said. Earned his GED, started classes at Bronx Community College, pulling a 3.56 GPA. But the psychological trauma from jail had taken its toll. You know, I feel like I have screws loose. Like, I'm never going to be the same. And when he first came home, he would just walk the four corners of the driveway. You hear animals do that have been confined to a space. Yes, he did it. And I had to watch my baby go through all of that. In the last year, Khalif grew depressed, deeply paranoid. You know, deep down, I'm a mess. I feel like I'm a grown old man. And then two Saturdays ago, two years after his release from jail, Khalif Browder hanged himself with an air conditioner cord in his home in the Bronx. He was 22. I didn't know what to do. I, can you imagine finding your son and he's hanging with his head back? Khalif's death made national news and messages of outrage mixed with sympathy flooded social media. John Legend wrote in an op-ed that New York failed Khalif. Lena Dunham Instagrammed his photo and called for reform. Our interview with Khalif went viral on Facebook. What we now know is that Khalif was due in court to face new charges of disorderly conduct the week he took his own life. His family said he was scared to go back into jail. It destroyed him. It destroyed him mentally. Has anyone apologized to you from Rikers? No. From the prosecutor's office? No. What do you hope happens now? I want them to be responsible, to admit that it was their fault that my son is dead. He spent three years in, in hell. It sounds like you're in that hell now. I will be in hell until the day I die because I found my son hanging. If your child is murdered, you, you have a, an immediate anger towards that person and you want that person found, you know, and, and pay for what they did to your child. It's not one person, it's a whole system that destroyed my son. And I want them all to pay. It's not hard to imagine the life he might have led if he had made it. I have the medal hanging on my bed. You see it in the remnants of the life and the people he left behind. Like Elizabeth Pyumps, a program director at Bronx Community College, who worked closely with Khalif. She says she's working on getting Khalif his associate degree posthumously. This for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> what do you want the world to remember of your son? To remember him for the stand up person that he was. He was a good person. The kind of person who turned down a plea bargain on principle, 
whose story may help save others like him. If I would have just been guilty, then my story would have been never been heard. Nobody would have took the time to listen to me. I'd have been just another criminal.